Get moved. Got to go to work. The only thing David Hartwig ever wanted in life was to put in an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. And I went to horseshoe school right out of high school. It's a neat way for a guy to make a living because you work, you get paid. You don't work, you don't get paid. And there's, it's hard work, so if a man's willing to work hard, he can make money. If he's lazy, teaches you what life's all about. What makes a good shoer? you got to like a horse. And then you got to make that horse know you like it. And then he'll relax. In other words, this horse is relaxed. I run my hand up here like this, and he'll just relax that leg, and he don't care. And I can sit here all day long. And what makes them not comfortable is if they think that you're mad or upset. You want to concentrate on shoeing, not fighting. Now, you might think it's a lonely job out here fitting horses with footwear. But David doesn't work alone. He's got a knowledgeable and talented assistant with a cold nose and a wagging tail. Take it home. Take it to Barbara. Take it to Barbara all the way. Meet Skid Boot, the most amazing dog you'll ever see. David Hartwig discovered almost by accident that his wife's dog, Skid Boot, was something special. Chris, shut that. Wait a minute. Hello? You don't talk Skid Boot. It's for you. No, 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 no. Whisper. Whisper. Talk to him. Yeah. Skid Boot and David's relationship almost didn't happen. Neighbors had complained about the dog's mischief, and Skid Boot was about to be given away when David made a connection that led to a partnership that changed both of their lives. And in about five minutes on my living room floor, I could throw a toy out across the floor, tell him to wait, he wouldn't get it. Tell him to go get it, and on the way there, say, whoa, and he just stopped dead still in five minutes. So I couldn't wait for Barbara to get home. And I said, you ain't gonna believe this, and I showed it to her. And she said, see, he is a good dog. We ought to keep him, you know. Wave your left hand. Wave your right hand. Wave your left hand. Wave your right hand. Wave your left hand. Now turn around. Take a hold. Wait. Turn the other way. Ease up on it. Now touch it. Okay, back away. As back that boot learned more and more ways to amaze, David and his new sidekick started performing at rodeos, and the world started to take note. In the national competition Pet Star, the little dog from Quinlan, Texas, won the grand prize. And the gold medal and $25,000 goes to Skid Boots. From Letterman and Leno to a visit with Oprah, Skid Boots grown accustomed to the bright lights and limousines. You know, he changed my life. He opened doors for me. I've met people that I would have never met before in my life. Oh, we were on Oprah, you know. I mean, how are you going to meet Oprah, somebody like me? And, and Skid Boot and me had a ball. Okay, now I'm going to count to three. Skid Boot, when I say three, I want you to get that toy. But don't you get that toy until I say three. And you better listen careful, because I'm going to do the count. One, two, six. Seven. Okay, I'll be nice. Fourteen. Twenty-nine. Ninety-eight. Seventeen. Three. Back closer to home, Skidboot and David are regulars at churches and schools. Skidboot lives to perform, and David sees it as his duty to bring Skidboot's joy to others. Take my hand. Take a hold. Bring it in. <laughs> Good boy. The only thing I take credit for is I got a driver's license and I can get him there. If it wasn't for that, he could do the whole deal on his own. It's my job, stewardship is what they call it. It's my job to do the right thing with this dog. 
I'm sure I've made some mistakes, but when I see people smile, I can't, you know, I can't feel bad about that. Churches called me and said, you have a wonderful ministry. I said, what are you talking about? They said, that's why it's a wonderful ministry, because you don't think you have one. And a big smile. That's my hand. Smile. The skid boot has changed David Hartwig's life in ways he could have never imagined. And after Skid Boot's decade in the spotlight, reality has come calling. Here it is. I'm right, right here. Here it is. Come here. Skid Boot is going blind, and doctors say there's nothing they can do. Skid Boot's performance days are numbered now, but David says they'll get through it together. If God gives me a thunderstorm, I'm going to thank him. If he gives me a blind dog, it just means me and Skid Boot can have more personal time together. We're not going to begrudge anything. Life is too precious to be upset. And this dog, I will hand lead him everywhere when he's so blind he can't get around. It won't bother me at all. I love this dog. There will never be another skid boot. But whether he knows it or not, David Hartwig has a way with animals. His farm is littered with puppies who, with a little of David's encouragement, are showing the promise of performance. Come back. Come on. All the way back. Come on. Down. That's so good. That's my hand. Thank you. But fame and fortune is no substitute for the partnership, the understanding, the love David found with one special dog. He, he's had a wonderful life. He's had a great life. What dog can buy a Dooley Ford pickup and then buy another one and, and pay his master's bills? He makes more money than I do shoeing. Show, uh, flow, go. <laughs> if anybody has ever had a child, then they know how I feel about this thing. That's, that's the only way I can try. There's nothing that's more important to me than Skid Boot. David Hartwig and Skid Boot will continue to travel and perform until Skid Boot decides it's time to retire. Skid Boot won't live forever, but his legend will last long beyond his years. This story does have an uncertain ending. And its theme is something David Hartwig wonders about every day. What is this all about? Why did this happen to me? And the theme is the question, not the answer. And he's brought more joy into my life and lots of people's lives than all kinds of TV and fine cars and motorboats. Maybe that's the thing. I'm the luckiest cowboy ever and some folks swear they don't think imagine that we'll be right back <laughs>